on the night of December 24th, 1968, Christmas Eve. Three American astronauts, they were farther from home than any human beings had ever been. They were aboard Apollo 8, circling the moon at about 60 miles or 97 kilometers above its surface. Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders. They were moving at roughly 3,600 miles per hour, 5,800 kilometers per hour, wrapped in a spacecraft no wider than 12 feet, 3.7 meters. Outside the window, the moon was gray, silent, lifeless. And then something unexpected happened. As the capsule rolled, Bill Anders looked out the window and saw Earth rising above the lunar horizon. Not a map, not a globe, a real living planet, blue and white, thin clouds. Just a small, fragile ball hanging in the black of space. He grabbed his camera and took a photo that would soon be known as the Earthrise. That single image told the truth better than any speech ever could. Earth wasn't big. It wasn't tough. It looked breakable. Fragile. A short time later, the astronauts went live on television. Nearly one quarter of the world's population tuned in. From lunar orbit on Christmas Eve, they read words written thousands of years earlier. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. It wasn't planned as a sermon. It wasn't politics. It was literally perspective. Back home, about a billion people watched from living rooms, hospital wards, and military bases. Wars were still being fought. Arguments hadn't stopped. But for a moment, a split moment, everyone saw the same thing. One planet. All of us on it. Apollo 8 came home safely, splashing down in the Pacific On December 27, 1968, after traveling 580,000 miles, 933,000 kilometers. But the picture that they brought back never stopped traveling. Earthrise reminded us that everything that we argue over, it sits on something very small, very rare, and very special. These are interesting things. With JC.